Can't believe I lost just because I gave him a fucking beef treat. He's a dog. I lost <laughs> because I tried giving him a beef treat. Okay, that just leaves the rubber ball or, um, okay. Okay. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> Clean myself up, bless me. Okay, let's try not to fail again. Fuck this guy. Clank comes in, we love Clank. Okay, here we go. Beef treat, rubber ball, or chicken snack. Let's give him a rubber ball and hope. <laughs> but wait, hold on. Shit, I don't wanna make the wrong decision. Rubber ball. You reach beneath your apron and return with a rubber ball in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he lock onto it. You toss the ball and he bounds after it, grabbing it in his mouth, swinging it from side to side before dropping it. The throw passes quickly. It's not clear that in that if that endeared you to him or not. Sit down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare for what you have minds open to amazing possibilities of culinary creation. Well, that one didn't get a game over, so we're okay on that. Everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats. You're left standing in the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Mr. Lee, there's still a seat here. Oh. Seems that no one has claimed a seat next to me, if you're interested. Finger licking good. Oh. Oh. Do I sit by Colonel Sanders, who I'm trying to have sex with? Or do I sit by my best friend, who is my best friend? Oh, dear. Um, um, because I want to fuck Colonel Sanders, but it's also Miriam, my best friend. Yeah, fuck it, let's sit by Colonel. It appears he brought no books, pens, pencils, however, the perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks, uh, thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules, do all you can and do the best you can. The only way you'll ever get the feeling of, of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. So you're settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. The first fucking day. Yay, a quiz about me. It's incredibly important that you, and surprisingly short quiz, if you tell me what you're ready for a life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. Looking at you, Pop. Yeah, fuck you, Pop. Piece of shit. That's correct. A forest go. A fo forest is to tree as chicken is to... Oh, fuck. Night vision goggles. Feather. That's right. If I get all the answers right, that means... Sanders Coon will notice me. Uh, what is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A meat tenderizer. <laughs> a comically oversized fork. A spork. Correct. Ah, I'm so smart. What food is best for a broken heart? Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Camel meat. A pancake that looks like a silly face. Aww. Um, love. Yeah! Is Sprinkles a good boy? He is... Uh, no. <laughs> yes. I want to pick no just for the fact of the meme. Hold on. Ah, oh, can I not save in this section? Damn it. If I could save, I would totally do that. <sighs> He's best boy. That is right. I got a perfect score. Wow, be honest. Did you cheat? Fuck no. <laughs> you look up Colonel Sanders been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. Yes! Right. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I love you. I think you have a beautiful brain. Ooh! Ooh, we're starting with the flirt. Oh dear, okay. I don't think I'm ready for this. Hot diggity, Mr. Lee. You just scored some major points with Sanders for that performance. Yes! I knew it. I knew it. Okay, cool. May I have your attention, students? It's an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as the restaurant you've ever eaten at. 
It makes sense that the school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? It must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Isn't about lunch. Oh god, I made him sound like a gremlin. Because he is a gremlin. Fuck you. No, I wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Well, howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, fuck you, student. You don't even have a name. Hey, uh, hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers as Colonel Sanders slowly starts taking off his shirt. I mean... But I... Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said shh. So shut the fuck up, Pop. Piece of shit. In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. That must be the smell that I smelled. The smelly smell that smells. Smelly. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see the f what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard he's very talented, but were the rumors true? It is this. Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled higher, huge pieces of chicken, breaded to a fried and crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you, you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. This is a huge advertisement. And you know, you know what's sad? I'm not even getting sponsored. I don't know if I'm the first man to stream this ever. I don't think I am. But I think I should get sponsored by KFC just for streaming it. What do you guys think? I think so. I think so. <sighs> Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years, I've been developing the secret recipe for a perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. You feel like an idiot for not doing that. But that's all I, I'll, I'll say about that. What do you think, or uh, we want your stupid recipe? Dude, pshaw, not my dude, nah. I hate this guy. It's just a drafting a last statement and a will and testament in case uh, one of those re ingredients is a uh, poison. Got him. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at a sick burn. You wait to see what zinger Ashley is prepared for a follow-up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful, and I knew at the only moment that the only true hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. Hey, you stay away from my man, Ashley. Fuck you. You see your body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realized that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants them all to herself. I don't have to fucking kill her. Oh, please. Hmm. Well, Van Van, the man, man, if you don't want any, I'll take his. Whoa, 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 hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unpressed. Easy now, there's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. Take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's... Amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you into another dimension. Along with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try to identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim towards the light. Shit. Um, I, got, I gotta win Colonel Sanders' heart. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, and heavenly. What a guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can be described as love. For a man? Uh, a flavor? Are they the same? Is, is being gay like flavors on chicken? The world may never know. After tasting his food, you get to try some... You try to get some one-on-one -on -one time. Ooh! With Colonel Sanders. You approach Colonel Sanders. He smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Oh, Sanders Coon. 
Colonel, Colonel San, Colonel Coon, Sanders Coon, I was wondering if I could talk to you for a second. Moving hands nervously. Anything for, anything for a fellow chef. Mmm. What exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> How bold of you to come out and ask. You see, in my piss, I'm just kidding. Oh god, that, that's such a masculine and badass pose. It's an idea for a new combination of flavors that will make my fortune and establish my legacy for a long time as I open a chain of highly successful fast food fried chicken restaurants. It's no big deal. I think this is foreshadowing. Shattering? Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. It's like this actually happened. Now, now hear me out. This is actually based on real events. And this is what actually happened before Colonel Sanders rose to power and created KFC. It's just you and me here talking. I, I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've got two whole more days to get to know each other. He's clearly not going to give it up easy. <laughs> But it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about Colonel. You know what they say about secrets, Sanders Coon. Shouldn't learning be fun? You've got Moxie. I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone. Then he leans in. You can feel your warm breath as he whispers, "Oh shit! What beautiful writing this game is." As he as he puts his lips against your neck and starts breathing heavily, he whispers, "It's finger licking good." Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use... It's something my great-grandmother taught me. Wow, you'd never want to guess that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everything else in the cafeteria is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders standing outside. Standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. I tend to teleport whenever I tell secrets. Like my good buddy Jotaro. He taught me the secrets of the world, though. God damn it. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue after I have graduated. Well, it sounds like you've got big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave a mark on this world, and you can bet on that. Um, alone together for the first time, you figure this is the perfect moment to show off your personality to him. Neg him to show him your own strength. No. Wow him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Nah, he's already got his perfect recipe. I don't want to ruin it. Modest, but thoughtful. <laughs> well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoy your food. I, I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. I saw those hearts flare up. I'm gonna fuck Colonel Sanders. Oh, your flavors were complex, but comforting. They, they interplay between salty and savory and peppery. It was perfect. I appreciate the confident, Mr. Lee. Wish I could have done that in not caps. I'm sure you'll be a big success. 